Hey guys, it's BTV back again with a, with some more Snake games. And today we have uh, ABR versus Flaming Victini, and this is phase two of uh, official Samogon Snake draft. And FE is on the Nagas, and ABR is on the Bushmasters. I guess if a FE at this moment is like one and two, and ABR is um, three and zero. Oh. And yeah, these both players are like top five players in my opinion. So this is gonna be an interesting game. So let's just rewatch the first few turns. Um, here, uh, FE leads with the Clefable as ABR just leads with the Coco. ABR just clicks U-turn anticipating uh, FE to probably go into the Mammoth Swine, but FE predicts that and just goes for the rocks. And yeah, FE gets up his rocks and then he hards Mammoth Swine probably because Mamo is a uh, Sash. And he did not want to lose uh, his Sash or he did not want to get his Sash broken down. And wanted to get his mammoth swine in before the rocks go up, so yeah, he goes he goes into the mammoth swine hard on Landris. As Landris outspeeds the mammoth swine and goes for the U-turn, as Fe just decides to go for the icicle crash, but this is it, which is like which is kind of crucial because oh, uh, chipping down the Cartana uh, would be nice for like oh uh, Ladios and stuff to like just go for Saisha, but. I don't think it's a huge deal, but it, of course, damage is damage, and yeah, it's definitely annoying. And especially if like he got all that icicle crash damage, he uh, the Cartana would have been in range of something like HP Ice or or discharge from the Zapdos, if, especially if it's offensive and if he does not have if he, if he's not packing the heat wave. So yeah, that that miss sucks for Effie. As Effie just decides to guard in the Latios, uh, which is a fine play because this is still Sun and Moon and uh, Cartana doesn't get knock off. So uh, Latios pretty much tanks uh, anything Cartana has to throw at it. So yeah. So um, going at the team structures, Effie has like Clef, uh, Tran, and Mamo. I think the. Uh, Fe expected some kind of bulky team from ABR, like a Toxapex or something. So Mammoth Swine to probably take care, uh, take care of the Toxapex and EQ stuff. And he probably thought ABR would be weak to Mammoth Swine in general uh, with the ice and ground coverage. And uh, Tran is a very good wall breaker. So Tran is understandable. And uh, if, if ABR decided to bring some stall shit, uh, he has a Clef able to always get up rocks on the Mega Sableye. And he has a Greninja, which is pro most probably Specs, or it could be Zemo Greninja, or it could be Specs. But uh, I definitely think the Ladios is Choice Scarf, and um, yeah, and just Zapdos because uh, uh, his team is like uh, weak to Omega Pinsir, so uh, yeah, Zapdos to like additionally check the Mega Pinsir and stuff. Uh, going on AVR's team, AVR has a really interesting team. With a random Pelipper and uh, with a Greninja, um, not really sure. Uh, I think uh, Pelipper is like to boost up uh, Greninja's moves, uh, as we as we do see though. Zapdos has Heat Wave and it just goes for the Heat Wave on the Majorna, uh, and that is a that is twenty eight percent. So that's uh, Assault West confirmed, and Majorna goes for the Ice Beam. Um, so this is like. This is probably offensive Zapdos with like a bit of HP investment, probably like 120 HP investment or something, or uh, to probably tank hits better from Mega Pinsir, and that's probably uh, no investment on major, no, no investment in special attack. I mean, uh, as Effie just goes for the roost as ABR hards into uh, Greninja. If he had World Switch, uh, I think he would have gone. He could have gone for the World Switch, but he probably doesn't have it. Um, yeah, but uh, th th that's fine overall. Uh, but World Switch would have done a bit more chip. So, um, ABR, uh, um, FE would probably. I think uh, FE would just click a uh, roost here, maybe. As okay, ABR decides to go for the Hydro Vortex as he is. Protean Hydro Vortex as Fe lives at a 1% and uh, knocks the Greninja out with Discharge and that is huge. Yeah, that is huge. That is actually uh, game-changing because Greninja would have been uh, super useful for ABR 
and that live was pretty crucial for FE. I think it's a roll. Oh, let me count this real quick. Yeah, it's a it's a roll. Uh, and I think it's an ABR's favor to knock out the Zapdos. Uh, or, uh, yeah, it's slightly in ABR's favor to knock out the Zapdos if it is the spread I'm assuming on uh, Zapdos, which is 120 HP. So, ABR had like a good shot of knocking it out. Uh, okay, ABR just goes out in the Kartana. Uh, and he can just click oh, Sacred Sword, Leaf Blade, anything works. Yeah, he just clicks Leaf Blade. And I think uh, Flaming Victini can go out into the. Uh, Greninja of his own, or uh, or Kartana, yeah, or yeah, Latios because he's not sure if this Kartana is Scarf or not. And uh, ABR would probably switch out into the Majorna. So um, if Fe wants to like, if Fe is Scarf, um, he could probably double out into something like Heatran. And yeah, but uh, if he doesn't want to risk uh, ABR making a play and uh, just staying in and leaf leading, I probably think he should go for the Draco Meteor as he just decides to Earthquake and that has 19 to the Cardano. That does no shit, dude. Okay. Uh, yeah, that does 19. Uh, ABR can just stay in and go for another leaf blade, but. Here decides to go to the Coco. Okay, 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 okay. So I understand his play. I think uh, he thought that the Coco wasn't. Um, I mean, he thought the Latios wasn't a uh, scarf, a choice scarf locked into Earthquake. But I'm, but if I was ABR, I would just attack the Latios there because um, Effie's team is pretty slow, and I think he definitely needs a scarf in Latios, or else, yeah, or else is way too slow, dude. So. Um, but I kind of get ABR's play there, harding into the Coco. Uh, yeah. Uh, as FP just goes on to the Greninja now, I, I, I'm assuming this is a Choice Specs Greninja or a Z move Greninja, but I'm pretty sure it's Ash Grin. And he can just click Dark Pulse, or yeah, he can just click Dark Pulse or Hy Hydro Pump here. Uh, if he doesn't want to be, if he doesn't want to risk too many things, he can just click Dark Pulse. But Majorna is kind of obvious so i was just hydro pump here as he goes into the coco which is an interesting play as he does click the hydro pump and yeah knocks out the coco so he gets the battle bond boost uh which is nice and he goes into the ashran farm and ashran looks like uh it can pick up every major kill and especially if uh this gren is not uh if this gren is not specs it just wins um, yeah, he, uh, Fe is definitely going to switch out here, probably into something like uh, Heatran. Uh, if ABR, I, ABR would have gone for the World Switch if he had it, so I, uh, that makes me think he doesn't have the World Switch. So, if I was Fe, I would just go into the Heatran because all you need, all you need to do is uh, just chip the Majorna, and the Greninja can win. So yeah, um, as both players are thinking of what they're supposed to do. But yeah, looking at ABR team is really interesting. He has this developer, which I think it's probably is most likely specs because you don't run a, a damp rock developer for no reason. Um, yeah, and uh, especially since it's not even Ash Grin, it's just Protean Grin. So yeah, it's just specs developer. AV Majorna and probably Z move Kartana and probably Scarf Rock. Scarf. Um, is it Scarf Coco? I don't think it's Switch moves. Yeah. yeah. Both teams are really weird. Uh, I definitely like AV's team more. Okay, yeah, he does. And if he just goes out in the heat run as expected, and uh, AVR just goes for the safe floor cannon. Um, if he can just go for the Magma Storm here, um, yeah, if I was Effie, I would just go for the Magma Storm here, because uh, he's either going to go into the Landris or he's going to go into the Pelipper, um, uh, and even if ABR has the Volt Switch, I doubt he's going to Volt Switch here, because he needs 
the majority are fairly healthy to beat the uh, Greninja. As if he does go for the Magnastorm, uh, nice. And he gets up a decent chip on Landris. And he can go for it again because I'm, uh, because it's trapped. But yeah, 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 yeah. it makes more sense to go on the Clefable because uh, a ABR's Landris is faster because uh, uh, Effie's uh, Heatran is probably specially defensive. And uh, uh, from the from 44%, it's pretty much confirmed that uh, it's specially defensive and they don't run that much speed to outspeed Landris. So ABR ma it makes it safe play and goes for Earthquake as Effie just goes around the better play of Clefable. And now he can just soft boil up. Yeah, and it recovers up to full. Uh, Effie can just click. Effie can just click Moonblast here. And. Yeah, and, and, and yeah, obviously not missing the Magnastorm also helps. Uh, like, even if. Even, even if. Um, if he was faster, not risking the Magnus Storm is a smart play. So, yeah. Now I think um, if he can just sack off the, uh, if he can just sack something here, or he can just mo stay in and moon blast. But I'd probably sack. Uh, um, where would I sack here? <laughs> is he trying doing much this game? He, yeah, Heatran is more of a liability in this game, I think. Um, actually, no, no, I was just staying and click Boom last year, to be honest. And yeah, and AVR, the range which AVR set up is um, pretty bad for him, actually, in this scenario, because it's helping Effie more, and it's hurting AVR more, because... Um, Ash, because Effie is the one with the Ash Grin here, and um, Ash Grin can just uh, Ash Grin can just claim one with Hydro Pump, especially if it's Choice Specs. Uh, a Choice Specs rain boosted Hydro Pump kills the Pelipper from this range. I'm uh, pretty positive on that. So yeah, he can I, he he can just sack the uh, Heat right here to be honest, um, and go out in a Grin and claim one. Uh, yeah, he as he does suck the heat run as expected, and now he goes into the Greninja. If he's like Hydro Vortex here, that's going to be the most dangerous because he doesn't even have to risk missing Hydro Pump, and uh, he can knock out the Major. You know, uh, but I would go for the. Okay, he goes for the Z move, uh, and he goes for Z Black Hole Eclipse. Okay, interesting, interesting, very interesting. So, yeah, that knocks out the Pelipper, and yeah, it's for it's probably for Pex because uh, you Dark Pulse on the Pex, and then you knock it out with the uh, Black Hole Eclipse. So, Effie is well prepared for uh, ABR's bulky kind of teams with Pex and stuff. So, that's good preparation of Effie's part. Um, yeah, so if if ABR would like, if uh, if he can get up a layer of rocks and chip, uh, he can knock out the pecs with a Z black hole eclipse and uh, yeah, with the dark pulse. Uh, he doesn't have a spiker on his team, which would have helped too, but I guess uh, he runs calculated EVs and he knows that uh, Dark Pulse plus Z Black Hole Eclipse always knocks out picks. Okay, so if he goes into the Clefable and ABR goes for into the Cartana, he leaf plays, which is a smart play because in case if he tried to uh, try to get a sneaky and go out into the Greninja, which would be a choke, and if he wouldn't obviously do that, but yeah, he just goes for the leaf blade and then uh, decides to go for the smart strike, which is which is smart. Uh, on his on ABR side because uh, that kind of also uh, makes sh that also kind of ensures that the Clefable stays in. Uh, so and yeah, clicks uh, he probably clicks soft portal there. And uh, Mamoswine goes for the ice shard. We still don't know the item on uh, item on Mamoswine. It's probably Sash. Uh, it's not even revealed, but it's not Orb. Yeah. 
AVR uh, wanted a AVR wanted a life orb stall here because this is the first attacking move I believe Mango Swine has gone for, and yeah, because he crash missed, so uh, AVR didn't know what set uh, the Mammoth Swine was, and now he realizes that um, the Mammoth Swine isn't even life orb, so he can't even stall out the Mammoth Swine, and yeah. As if he goes for a um, knockoff, which is which is a nice play because he wants to ensure the Greninja's water shriek and kills. Uh, but uh, it, since it's not choice specs, it's probably a roll to knock it out with uh, water shuriken. I think three hits does like eight, eight, and eight. If he gets three low rolls, okay, okay. If he doesn't go for the rolls, he goes for the hydro pump, which is risky, but. I think it's better than going for the rolls, so yeah. And now he can just water shuriken and uh, win this game. Yeah. So that was that was a really interesting game with like very unique teams from both sides. And uh, yeah, and uh, since Snake is already over, I think I can reveal this course. AVR finished uh, nine and two, and I think Fe and uh, me are his only two losses. And Fe finished seven and two. So yeah, both players on top of their game and. Uh, a very nice game to witness, but really interesting teams to say the least. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so I'll be back with more games, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my man, Doctor Rich. Peace.